Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel, I'm Kelly Lou, and if you're new here, then welcome to 20 minutes of this and that as I try and stumble my way through video number four of showing the things I do behind the scenes in my small business. Today we're over the sunburn, I have got the makeup on and the eyebrows and we are going with it. So this week I've got a quite a bit on actually, um, I am launching a Kickstarter which was actually meant to launch on Sunday but Kickstarter uh, delayed that by not reviewing my project in time so I've rescheduled it for tomorrow which will be Wednesday the 21st. Um, so today I'm doing some Kickstarter prep which is just getting my posts ready and making sure that my campaign is all sorted and I also have a huge uh, wholesale orders pack today so I might bring you along for that. Um, other than that, I'm going to be filming bits as I go through the week. I'm not working every day because I'm currently helping my parents uh, sort out their garden. So yesterday I spent the whole day painting fences, which was fun. So yeah, I might film some bits and bobs, shove them all together into a video. And this is what you're watching. So I hope you find it interesting. And along the way, I will probably ramble on and waffle like I normally do. But I hope you're all well. Welcome back to... The fourth video in my series of winging it, um, which is pretty much what I've been doing for the past few years. I just want to say, I can't tell you the joy I felt today when I looked out the window and saw that it was raining and it's actually lower than 20 degrees. So I could wear a sweatshirt because your girl likes a comfy clothes and I hate being a sweaty mess, which is me throughout the majority of summer. So it was nice to be able to actually do my hair wear something other than a vest or a black t-shirt um <laughs> so yes i just thought i'd share that with you my love of cooler temperatures anybody else the same let me know in the comments if you hate summer as much as i do i don't necessarily hate summer just don't like being hot because it just stresses me out and i feel very overwhelmed and stressy so first of all i'm going to print off the orders that have come through uh, since yesterday about 10 orders to pack and I also have my huge wholesale order to pack which is uh, actually I think it's a few hundred items <laughs> um a lot of stickers a lot of pins but it's to one of my favorite wholesalers which is Handmade Nottingham um they have been stocking my goodies now since last June I think so June 22 um and Rhea who owns Handmade Nottingham stocks so many amazing artists and it was always my dream to be stocked in there and when I randomly reached out to her last year for my post I said oh I'd love to stop my goodies and she was like oh I'd love to so I was just like ah fangirling um and my things do really well there so it's amazing um so I'm gonna show you packing some of that shortly which I might do a time lapse of because there's that many pins to sort out it's not really that exciting if you just hear me constantly opening packages and putting them on cards it's not very exciting so i might just do a little montage i realize i've been waffling on for five minutes already but hopefully i can find a way to put these clips together and make it an exciting video who knows let's go shall we
so normal shop orders are done. Uh, now it's time to get started on my wholesale order for Handmade Nottingham and I need to make quite a few stickers for this order so I'm going to bring you along but it'll be dubbed over with some music because you don't need to listen to my printer, me breathing and probably me raging at my cricket machine for not cutting stickers properly which is what it normally does. So, but fingers crossed I might actually have a good time doing it today and it might not annoy me but we'll see. Oh my god, would you look at that, you manky cow. Look how dirty my freaking my Mac is. Um I thought I'd bring you along. I'm just gonna put the screen on because this is just embarrassing. Um but you know me, I like to be real. Um so yeah, I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I do my stickers. Um I'm not gonna show you how I draw the stickers and put them onto my laptop. Um that'll just be for another video, but so I wait about half an hour for Cricut Design Space to load up and do its thing. Uh, and I'll have to see you too, as long as you don't pee me off. Um, on my stuff, I have all of my files saved as is. As you can see, these are some of the stickers that I have in my store. And I do need to get my list of what I need. So I'll come back again. Hang on. I'm never bloody ready, am I? So I'm so unprofessional. Um... So the only ones that I need for this order is just these few here. But while I'm doing stickers for my wholesale order, I'm just going to print out a bunch for myself anyway. So let's go for the Neuro Spicy ones, which is this hot sauce ones here. It normally comes up with a little preview here, but Cricut Design Space. Oh, there you go. Last ticket, take a sweet ass time. Uh, so this is how my sheet looks that I'm going to be printing out. So I click make it. Uh, material size, I've got A4, obviously continue i'll be sending that to my printer which is not that one that's my label printer um which is this one so it used to be sticker printer but that sticker printer died and because i am forever forgetting things i've not removed that from my computer yet so it's my canon g600 which was the replacement for this sticker printer i always take off bleed and instead of just printing straight through the cricut um set up here it never prints right and it won't print it how i like it i'm not even going to try and explain myself because i'm terrible at that so using the system dialog here brings up a little pop-up box if i close down this bit and it should pop up here um so it has all my last use settings which obviously i have glossy photo paper for my stickers it literally already knows what i need and i haven't got a faff around with anything it would probably also help if I plug my printer in one at Kelly. It would also help if I put some freaking paper in the printer. I promise. I'm actually a professional businesswoman. Um, I'm not. It's just how I run things. Oh, God, look at the gala cover today. Um, I just like to be real. And, you know, I am not a professional. I am literally winging every day as it comes. This is a horrific angle. I apologise greatly. For the printer paper, we're going into the cupboard of doom. So it's just, and mind you, it's not as bad as it was before. I did try and have a little bit of a tidy up, but it's just out of sight, out of mind. It don't matter, does it? It's a cupboard. You know, no one sees it. No one comes in my house anyway. So, but now that I'm putting myself on the internet, I should probably be more conscious of the fact that I am meant to be making a good impression and not showing myself off to be a scruffy git. And I'm not. In all aspects of my actual real life, um, like I'm acting like this isn't real. Do you know what I mean? Like I am a tidy person, but we're allowed just one space where it's just, you know, things go away. And I love that you guys are here for the realism of the realism, the real life. You know, the I'm not pretending that I've got this beautiful, bloody, perfect business slash office thing it's just me in a bloody old bedroom do you know what i mean and these angles are all wrong my tensions but like i said i'm here uh, this is me i can't pretend to be anything that i'm not <laughs> let's put the paper in the printer shall we um i might even just tell you where we get my paper from i'll go back in the cupboard i get my paper like a lot of my things off amazon um I use the Evergreen Goods glossy white photo paper and I will link it below um, in the description. I've tried loads of different sticker paper and, oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> I've tried lots of different sticker papers um, and I might even do a video showing you the differences, but 
this photo paper, um, it is obviously sticky because it's sticker paper. I'm going to stop rustling the packet right now. It has a really nice sheen to it. Um, it prints on really well. It's like a, it's not u uber glossy, obviously, because I haven't got a laminate on it, but um, the ink sticks to it really well. My printer likes it and I like the feel of it. And I just like the way it prints. I've tried loads of different papers over the years and I've wasted so much bloody money. And these are the best ones that I find. So like I said, I'll link it below. Um, and you can go and have a ganders. It's a hundred gram uh, GSM, whatever the freaking hell you call it. 50 sheets in a pack. And it's good for inkjet and laser. So there we go. We're just going to leave the cupboard on show because I've gone past caring now. Let's put the paper in the printer. Let's put it in. Put it in. Yep. We're still here. Right. Let that do its thing. I've got the cricket on. My printer's quite slow. Um, I'm not going to lie. It is a good printer and it really puts the colour in nice on prints and stickers and things. So I don't like to complain. However, um, I'm going to put some more sheets on to print that I need to get cut for this wholesale order. And while that's doing printing, I'm going to go have my dinner because I'm bloody starving. My bloody stomach's grumbling and... I need a cup of tea, I'm not gonna lie. So I'll come back when it comes to quitting the stickers. Okay, bye. Okay, had me lunch, I've had a brew. So I'm, I'm revitalized now. And the printer has done its thing. And I've got all my stickers ready to go. And I'll just give you a little look, see at what I do there. Um, I can always do like a more in-depth um, video at some point from going from a design into how I upload the design and all that malarkey. So if you'd like a video on how I do make stickers from literally start to finish then let me know down in the comments and i'll make something right you know what i say when i keep harping on about how i am real with the things that i do um in my youtube videos i am not pretending that i have a perfect way of running my business all the things that i do are all lovely and shiny and whatever i'm here today to confess to being a grotty cow with my <laughs> Oh my god, my cricket um mats. So even these green ones aren't even official cricket, which is very naughty I've made. They were just off Amazon. Um I've had these two now for I can't even remember when I got my first cricket. It must have been 2020, so three years ago. And I remember I had another mat actually, and I tried to follow somebody's video on youtube of how to restick your mat and all that malarkey and cleaning it and it just didn't work so they've still got a little bit of sticking but they're not looking too great are they i mean it doesn't do anything to the back of the stickers it's not um transferring any dirt or germs or nothing it's literally bits of fluff and stuff which have just stuck to the mat and look at that you know i should be completely ashamed and to be honest, I am a little bit, you know, because this is a new mat that I got off Amazon. So this is when they first turn up. Look at that. And then that's before and that's an after. But the thing is, if it's still got a bit of stick in it, I'm using it. You know, I don't want to spend loads of money on mats. I'm not lazy. I'm just tight with my money <laughs> when I don't have to buy something. So... I thought before I show you how I put the stickers in the Cricut machine and that, I just thought I'd do a little confession time on being an absolute grot bag with my Cricut mats. There we go. Realistic, aren't I? And hopefully you don't all unsubscribe for that. I really am coming across as a scruffy grot bag, aren't I? <laughs> right, so I think it might be a little bit lopsided here, so let me just sort that out. With my bogging uh, Cricut mats, all you need to do is literally it prints out with these it used to have a big line all the way around but now it, they've updated the software it just has these like four corners on it so we stick this to the mat like so and my cricket has a tendency and it's probably to do with the unstickiness of this um mat really so i probably should get a new mat but yeah, I just like to pop a bit of tape on because sometimes the blade on the Cricut will pick up the sheet and then it'll just shred through the entire thing and ruin all the stickers. So 
just a bit of extra security on there because I don't want to waste a piece of sticker paper um, and that'll just keep it on there for good. Okay, so the Cricut is connected to my laptop and I choose the printable sticker paper white option. I'm just going to go with my preset. Then over here on my Cricut, it's flashing because it wants to eat the mat. So I'll just line it up. Mm, look at that. Look at the, oh God. It's just sticker paper. Don't freak out, kids. We press the button, let it go in and it will measure the mat and do its thing. And then when the stickers are done, pop this off the mat. And the good thing about it not being very sticky anymore is it doesn't bend the stickers because sometimes when the mat is brand new, it's really still very sticky, um, but it just pops off and that's the stickers done. Looky da, it's cute, isn't it? So I'm not gonna bore you with how I do the rest of the stickers. I'm gonna get them all cut now and get started on this wholesale order because I have lots to pack. Like I said, if you do want me to bore you senseless with a video on how I make the stickers from start to finish, that will be me designing one all the way up to having it printed um, and cut, then I can do that in a separate video and I can put you to sleep. Not kill you, but you know, like me, to sleep because it's quite boring. Okay, I had to pause there because I had to go on the school run. I'm back and I've got to finish doing all the pins, which I have picked all here and some more here. Then I can get everything packed away. Although I think I'm going to run out of time today, so I have to split the video into two or at least just cut to me filming again tomorrow. Also, the weather's changing. It's very sunny now. I'm very hot and I'm quite sweaty. I have this tiny fan here, but it's literally like getting blown on by a bunch of fairies because there is no breeze whatsoever. Hello, it's me again. It's a brand new day. Um, it's about half past 12, Wednesday the 21st, and I was going to carry on filming yesterday, but I ran out of time uh, before I had to go and run some errands for the family. So this morning has been spent finishing off my huge wholesale order in this box here. Um, so I've finished doing that and I've done today's orders, done some boring admin work, um, and now I'm going to go and have my lunch. But I am going to end this video here. Um, even though I just said hello, but I've already said hello about 20 minutes ago while you're watching. Um, so yes, I'm going to be filming a little bit later on because my Kickstarter launches today at six o'clock. So I'm hoping to do a bit of filming then. And then that'll all be in the next video on running a Kickstarter, possibly, hopefully successfully. Um, <laughs> so I will end the video here. I've done enough waffling. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.